When I have data sets that have lots of variables, especially data sets that have variables I don't know much about and I don't know the relationships between those variables, it's useful to use Spotfire's data relationships tool. And this will help me analyze the data and then perform better analysis. So let's take a look at an example. Here I have a World Bank data set and I have information about different countries around the world as well as different metrics on the populations in those countries. Now there's tons of variables here and I could use something like a scatter plot to look pairwise at the relationships between two variables one by one, but this gets pretty cumbersome to look at all the different combinations. Another option is to go to Spotfire's AI recommendation engine by opening the data panel and I can select a column and I can start to see a relationship. The first recommendation is always gonna be a histogram and then it's gonna rank the next relationships that you see here uh, with the strongest correlations. So that's certainly another great option. However, I, I have a lot of variables. I wanna look at them all at once. So I'm gonna to go to tools and data relationships. Now data relationships shouldn't be confused with data table relations and relating data tables because that's more of a data table management concept. Data relationships is gonna look at one data table and it's gonna look at the variables within that data table. So I'll go to data relationships here and I can see that I have different methods for using, um, uh, for comparing these variables. So what do these methods mean? When choosing a comparison method, you wanna consider the distributions of the data as well as the type of data in each of these variables. So you can have a numerical versus numerical comparison, numerical versus categorical, and a categorical versus categorical. Now the five different comparison methods in Spotfire are linear regression and Spearman R for numerical versus numerical, ANOVA and Kruskal Wallace for the numerical versus categorical, and chi-squared for categorical. So how do I know which one of these to choose? So this is gonna depend on the distribution of your data if you have a parametric data set or a non-parametric data set. So parametric essentially just means that your data is normally distributed and non-parametric means it's not normally distributed. And if you have a parametric data set, you can use linear regression for numerical versus numerical and you can use uh, NOVA for numerical versus categorical. So let's go back to my example. So back to my example, I'm gonna use a linear regression method. And here I'm gonna look at the percent of my population with access to a water source and select that as one variable. And at the bottom here, I'm gonna select all the other variables. Now at the top, I could select all the variables and add them to this list. And that's gonna give me a complete pairwise comparison between each variable and each other variable. But for this example, I'm just gonna use the water source percent of population with access and compare the other variables to that. So I'll hit OK, and you'll see in under a second, Spotfire has calculated these relationships. It's created a new page for me, data relationships, and it's also created a new table for me, data relationships. Now, this table has all of the values, so let me resize these columns, and you can see that this is ranked by the p-value. This is sorted by the p-value, which is the significance of the relationship between one variable to another variable. And this also has f statistic, r squared for correlation, r value, degrees of freedom, and n, which is the number of data points that were used in this calculation. So the strongest relationship is shown as the infant mortality rate, and that's most strongly related to water source and the percent of population with access. So you can see here that for populations that have low access to a water source, they have a high uh, rate of infant mortality. Now when I go down to sanitation facilities, you'll see that populations that have, an high, have a high access to sanitation facilities also have uh, a high access to water sources. So this allows me to go down and see less significant relationships and I can see positive correlations and negative correlations going the other way. And as I go down, you'll start to see weaker relationships and you'll start to see more of a cloud of data points. And this means that these variables are not very related to each other. So now let me go ahead and do a new data relationship and I'm gonna do an ANOVA method, which is gonna compare numerical and categorical types. So for here, I'm gonna add all of my variables to my Y column. And on the bottom here, I'm going to look at the relationship with region, the region of the world. Now I could rename this calculation, whatever I want, but here I'm just gonna leave it as data relationships two, and I'm gonna hit okay. 
Now you'll see that this has all been computed again. It's giving me a new page, data relationships two, with a new data table, data relationships two. And uh, as I resize this, you'll see the variables that are most highly related to region. So you can see the p-value for significance again. There is no r squared value. These are not all numerical types. Uh, so these are using categorical types, so there is no r squared value. But instead, I have now a box plot, which is showing for the categorical variable all the different values in that category. And as I go down this, you'll be able to see, you know, the the. The variable with the strongest relationship is, uh, is ages over 65, populations with uh, age over 65 being a higher proportion of the total. Uh, then there's the ages under 14 and so on. It can kind of go down this way. So the data relationships tool is a good way to do an initial analysis on your data, do some exploratory data analysis, and that might lead you to ask different questions about your data and better quality questions and ultimately build stronger visual analytics around your data.